people think perhaps that they want to sleep with us if they are dressed like this and this. That's not true. This is no ordinary classroom. The students here are Muslim migrants seeking asylum in Norway. They're being taught how to respect women. Of course, they can have got some uh, wrong signals. Maybe the better for the women if you not become equal. Females in miniskirts are only females in miniskirts and not something else. Across Europe, migrants have been linked to a string of shocking sexual assaults that have been seized on by right-wing groups. We house them, we feed them, and they rape and attack our women. And fears of Muslim migrants were exploited during the EU referendum campaign. Don't be surprised if scenes that we saw in Cologne don't happen more often. In the Norwegian city of Stavanger, three quarters of the men convicted of rape over a three-year period were immigrants. Classes on Norwegian culture are now compulsory for all asylum seekers. If they don't go, their benefits are cut. They're being housed in sleepy towns like Moy, Western Norway, population 2000, which is where I've come to see if Western values can really be taught in a classroom. It's just before Norwegian Constitution Day. Gro Helland is singing the national anthem to her students. You are here now in Norway. This is reality here. In our values, in our families, in our marriage. Why do I stay with my husband? Because he is controlling me? Do you think that we have some difference between these girls? Because it's not easy if you are used with another uh, culture, another way of dress. <laughs> مثلا لبس هي شرطة أو كذا كمان نفس الشيء في نسبة نراوجة يمكن بنظروا للمرة المحجبة كمان نظرة إني متعصبة إني مجاهلة إني متخلفة نفس نفس يعني مثل ما نحن بدنا بدهم هن إن يتعلموا كتير شغلات كمان. The students have been learning about the Norwegian way of life for weeks. Gro wants to know if it's having an impact. Have you changed? Fantastic. You understand our culture so, wrong and we understand your culture in front of us. We need the time. We need the time. It's not one hour to discuss everything. Okay? Is there a, a culture clash um, when people first arrive in Norway? when they see people dressing differently. Yeah, we have had men here in the beginning just staring at us. Yeah, yeah, yeah we have it. <laughs> they find it hard to accept sex in marriage. And if you ladies say no, you have to accept it. When we are married, yeah, that sounds very strange to them. Would you say that it happens often that men from very separated conservative societies that you've seen can get the wrong idea, can get the wrong signals. We had one example. A man from us felt that he, uh, he wanted to be close to a Norwegian lady, women, but she hit him. Yeah, and he was in shock. <laughs> so, of course, they can have got some uh, wrong signals. You don't feel that the men feel stigmatized because they're having to be taught how to respect women? You, they can feel that. Mm -hmm. But uh, they need it. <laughs> they need it even they if, if it. they feel stigmatized. Um, yeah. Okay, let's okay. Okay, yeah, okay. let's go. Okay, go. After the class, Aladdin and his wife Nizreen invite me to their home. They're Syrian. He's a teacher and she's a surgeon. What do you think of Moy? It's like a mental uh, hospital here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a mental hospital. They don't understand our culture. Hmm. We have no children. And Islam gave me the, the freedom to take four women. But what? And you're not wearing a hijab, you're not covered. We don't care, we don't care. They'll lose a hundred kroner, about 10 pounds, every 15 days if they don't attend the class. It's one hour, it's finished, and we register our name and we go out. Why do you think the Norwegian government wants you to do this class? to learn them, the equality is, is here different. We know these things. 
قلا يعني ايام زانن يعني حقي زلام ام زانن وحقي بيرك ام زانن يعني وي نو ذا رايت اوف مان زلام يعني عدل مناك يعني اند ذير از ذا لاف اند ريسبكت فور بيتوين مان اند هيز وايف they don't think what there is culture in our world. they don't think there is old bazaars uh, good civilization in syria and there is the different religion many religions they don't know just they take headlines from the news they use hijab and still allahu akbar that's, that, that's all why they, they think i've arranged to meet up with a few of the men who are at the class today and they're all being housed together in one of these residential houses in Moy. That's how they do things in Moy. They don't put the asylum seekers together in a, in a centre. They give them a house to live in so that they're part of the community. Hello. Hi. Where is number 12? Please. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Salah, Mazer, Hamouant and Mohammed all took the dangerous journey over land and sea from different parts of Syria to be here. Mazer used to be a lawyer. Salah was an engineer. We must learn the culture here. In France, in uh, British, we have a Muslim man. They are fighting uh, government because they don't respect the culture. Is there anything that you've learned in those classes to do with values that you disagree with, that you think, I'm hearing it, but I don't believe it? Uh, maybe some job is the best if you choose a man for the job, and some job is the best for the woman but here he won't make that equal in everything what kind of job uh, maybe in uh, kindergarten mm -hmm. all work uh, in the kindergarten is women also here in Norway women cannot uh, fix it houses maybe the better for the woman if you not become equal <laughs> in everything when they were deciding what to put in the course they were assuming that you were going to think that the woman not wearing hijab is worthy of less respect. She's thinking something like that, so she's wrong. I respect them. But do you think all of the, the migrants think the same as you? No, I think they, they think uh, they are a whore. Before some year, maybe I'm like them, but I changed. Moy is an hour from Stavanger, the city that sparked public outcry because so many rapes were linked to foreigners. Christian Vedler is Hello. from the right-wing, anti-immigration, progress party. They're part of the current coalition government. A couple of years ago, we had several incidents involving uh, foreign taxi drivers from uh, Afghanistan and some Middle Eastern as well, raping uh, females. The men doing these sexual assaults didn't argue that they didn't understand it was unlawful. They knew what they were doing. Do you feel that some of their values are incompatible with Norwegian culture? Female rights in the uh, Middle East are incompatible on what our view is on female rights. We, in Moy, we spoke to several Syrian migrants who, who felt a little offended that they had to go to these classes. They need to know that this is a different place, that females in miniskirts are only females in miniskirts and there is no invitation to do anything else. We, we need classes and we need them to accept that this is how we do it in, in Norway. Back in Moy, I met up with Swad, a single mother of four who came here from Qatar. Her asylum application has been refused. She's been appealing for four years. In the meantime, she's still going to the classes. نرويجي قاعد يسمع بال بيوم الخميس مثلا انا يجي شخص عربي يحكي معي يقول لي انه انت ليش لابسه هذا اللبس لبسك غلط انت لابسه غلط يقدر يروح هو يكلم العرب يكلم النرويجيه يقولها انه لباسك غلط ونعم تلبسين غلط 
حد راح يتغير يعني الناس تيجي بس تاخذ اقامه تقول للدرس باي باي مع السلامه <تصفيق> The local church has organized a multicultural evening so that migrants and Moy residents can get to know each other. I think the best way to find out about each other is to meet and to have a dialogue. And we also often find out that what we thought wasn't quite correct. From what I've seen in Moy, the classes aren't going to change the values and culture of the migrants here but they might prepare them for the attitudes their kids are going to grow up with. They'll learn more by mixing with Norwegians than they will in any classroom.